Today I f***ed up by stumbling on my 19 year old's reddit and reading through it. Dear Lord, on my main account, I came across a comment on a post in an Ask Men sub. It seemed vaguely familiar, so I clicked the username and looked through the profile. I click on the profiles all the time if a comment seems familiar, or interesting. This is my son's account, it has to be. The comment he posted is about something that happened while I was there. He had a more detailed post about that specific day. He had another previous post about an event in his life I knew about and knew some details about. He had a few other posts which I also read. I now know what gets him going sexually. Not something I needed to know. I know what his girlfriend likes sexually. Also not something I needed to know. Also quite surprising. I know how embarrassed he felt about an emotional time he had somewhat recently with my wife. I feel kind of heartbroken for him about that one. I know that when I was 17, he snooped in mine in my wife's room and came across our treasure chest, which included pictures of my wife. And I, I feel kind of pissed off about that one. In reading through the comments he's made to others, I've learned that he is wise beyond his years and an incredibly kind human. I feel very proud about that. Overall, I wish I never clicked that first comment. I know way more about his sex life than a father should. Too long didn't read, accidentally discovered my son on reddit, found out about his kinky sex life, some heartbreak, and that the lip <coughs> has snooped through my room. Edited to add, yes, I shouldn't have read all of it, and some posts I stayed away from, and honestly, I didn't realize it right right away. The first post I read sounded like him, but there are millions of redditors. It was after another that I really put the pieces together, and yeah. There might be some hypocrisy about being slightly mad about him snooping through my room, but hey, life isn't always fair. I also have no intention of telling him, or anyone else. Oh my goodness guys, we are off to a great start, <laughs> that was juicy. Today I f***ed up by waxing my upper lip with duct tape before a date. This happened last Saturday, and I'm still walking around with a deformed upper lip. I, 21 year old female, got asked on a date, first one in like, my entire life. But fine, hey, I was preparing myself till I saw I had a mustache, and I'm really self-conscious so that mouth brow had to go. I read online that shaving could make it feel like the hairs get thicker, and that it could possibly leave marks. Yes, I'm a moron, I'll judge myself before you can, ha. <laughs> so I figured waxing would be the perfect way to do it. It would have been fine I guess, but I ran out of wax strips and was really stressing that he would notice and the thought just kept creeping up on me. Frantically, I looked around the house if they really weren't left, till I found the duct tape in the hallway my brother had used. Me, being the idiot I am, thought it would be a clever idea to use it to wax my mustache. So I smashed that little black strip of intense pain above my upper lip and started pulling. After I was done, I put some aloe vera on it and checked myself out. I already got dressed and did my hair, and figured it was fine. It was a little red, but hey, better than that mustache, right? I arrived at the location and saw everyone looking at my face, and my date was waiting for me at the door. He started laughing his ass off and I couldn't understand why till he asked me to go check myself out in the bathroom. My entire upper lip was red, damaged, and tiny scabs had formed. So basically, I traded my lip fluff for a red mustache. I fixed what I could and I wanted to go home ring the shame bell and stuff my face with chicken wings, but he urged me that it was fine and we should just have fun. We already planned another date so the first person to ever want to date me already feels like a keeper. Oh, and I get to go to work with his look. Life is fantastic. Too long didn't read, I, 21 year old female, waxed my lip fluff with duct tape, figured it would be fine, but instead ended up going on a date with a red deformed upper lip because of my insecure ass. Edit. Wow. Thank you guys so much for the tips. I'm scrolling through the comments and I feel like an absolute fucktard. I do have tweezers, but hell no that it even crossed my mind during my useless panic attack. I came here to get a laugh out of it eventually and I'm leaving with more confidence about myself, some more self-love and wholesomeness. Honestly, bless you all. Man, I love this subreddit. Today I f***ed up by creating a robot wank machine. This is my most embarrassing memory and I'm finally deciding to share it with the world. This happened when I was 12 years old and just like every 12 year old, I loved Legos and of course, f***ing off. 
My brilliant mind decided to combine these things to make an automatic machine to jerk me off because I was lazy. I had the LEGO Mindstorms robotics kit and got started on assembling my machine. After hours of concocting different mechanisms that could jerk my tiny I finally decided on one design. My first prototype involved a wheel that spins around driving a crankshaft attached to a bionicle piece that perfectly fit around my Many prototypes later, I found the perfect speed to set the motors as well as adjusted the gear ratio and got down to business. Once my parents went to work, it was time to fully test my machine. I sat down at my family's desk chair and placed the machine between my thighs and attached the hand to my I pressed the start program button and the machine starts. At first, things were going good, but this is where I f***ed up. Since my contraption was between my thighs while I was sitting, this meant that the gears were also in this area. Suddenly, I feel a sharp pain down in my balls and see that the high speed gears have swallowed the skin on my balls. This caused me to fall off the chair, shrieking in pain while the gears were still destroying my testicles. I yanked the power cable off from the motor, but yet the pain continued. I had to unwind the gears that clamped down on my nutsack very slowly. Every gear tooth I turned led to more pain, but eventually I got it off of me. What was left was some bleeding and some cuts. And strangely, I plan on becoming a mechanical engineer. Too long didn't read, built Lego sex machine, got balls shredded. Edit. Damn, this got popular. I'll post a sketch soon of how it looked like after I'm done with class. Today I f***ed up by washing my clothes frugally. This all happened over the last few months. It all began when I ran out of laundry detergent. Buying detergent is expensive, and I was desperate. So I googled whether or not you could use something else instead. Happily, I found a blog which described using dish soap in the washing machine. The author claimed the only difference is that you'll use much less of the dish soap, like a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon? That appealed greatly to my frugal mind, so I washed a load with dish soap, and I was pleased to find that it did seem to work. As time went on, I kept using teaspoons of dish soap to wash my clothes. I honestly felt like I had discovered a huge life hack, I thought. Look at big detergent making us pay a fortune for these huge jugs of product, when we could just spend a few pennies per load on dish soap. I literally did the math and almost took my brilliant findings to r slash frugal. The first indication something was wrong was when I spent the entire day in a client's home. I noticed as the day progressed that she would follow behind me and light a scented candle whenever I left the room. But when I ran through the checklist of whether or not I might stink, I determined that I was good to go. I had showered, used deodorant, brushed my teeth, and my clothes were still fresh out of the wash. I figured I was just being paranoid. Fast forward another few weeks, I'm still using teaspoons of dish soap, and to me, my clothes look and smell fine. But one day, there was a big sale on detergent, so I decided to splurge. It was kinda nice using real detergent again. I felt like I was rejoining the rest of society, with its spring breezes and ocean freshness. That's not to say that I was still very proud of my dish soap days. However, yesterday is when I realized the dish soap experiment had not gone as well as I thought. Yesterday morning, I grabbed a clean shirt out of my drawer and when I put it on, I nearly gagged. It was pungent with what I could only describe as a human stench. Not B.O., but just a greasy, dirty, hair, oily, back kind of smell. Only much stronger. The odor hung heavily in the air and it was disgusting. It didn't take long to figure out what was wrong. This article of clothing was a holdover from back when I've been using the soap. I was immediately horrified by the implications. I'd been walking around smelling like this for months. I did stink up that lady's house, and many, many more places. Needless to say, I am completely embarrassed for myself and ashamed at my own stupidity. Too long didn't read, did laundry with dish soap, went nose blind, was stank. Okay, I guess I gotta start washing my clothes now, cause sometimes when I get stains, I just use dish soap to wash it out. Oh yeah, and also guys, welcome to the first episode of Today I Fucked Up. I hope you liked it, and we're going to be continuing a lot of these in the near future. In fact, I'm going to start exploring a lot of different subreddits, and who knows, we'll see what we can do. But anyways, I'm Real Life, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me quite a bit. 
And as always guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.